My first racing career started uh, in 1949, actually, when I built my first 500 car and raced that. And I've done quite a bit of racing before I went to Jaguar Cars. Um, as the chief development test engineer, uh, apart from uh, developing the car, uh, I was included in quite a few races. Well, it meant that uh, every car from the prototype stage, when it was first, as soon as it's built, it was my job then to develop it and test it, either it was for production or for racing. And uh, as we have been looking at the 1955 race, it was my job to prepare the three works cars. I was fortunate to be chosen to drive the number three car. Mike Hawthorne and I, the Bew, were the number one car. And Hamilton and Rod, they were number two. 55 race. Uh, it's probably one of the most uh, outstanding races on record for Le Mans. Um, apart from the uh, big crash that occurred with Levesque in the Mercedes, killing 86 uh, spectators, it was a, a, a fantastic race right from the start of the race at 4 o'clock. It became a Grand Prix for the first two hours with Mike Hawthorne in the uh, 505 car chassis 505, and Fangio in the Mercedes. Uh, it was really a two-hour Grand Prix, as you've already seen on the film. Uh, the record was uh, broken uh, to over 120 miles an hour. Also, I was able to get the highest speed down on summer, uh, which was 192.4, which was quite remarkable considering the, the engine was still the 3.4, Modified uh, with the 3540 head, it also had a seven inches longer on the nose from the from the short nose D, and uh, we also had a full wrap round screen. This giving us quite uh, a few miles per hour on the Mulsanne. It's funny that you mention your um, speed record down the Mulsanne because I know you've got a funny story to tell about that and how you actually achieved it and the other drivers were a bit annoyed with you and they couldn't get the speed that you got. Can you explain it to us? Yes, well, what, it, what it was, when we did the development of the, of the car, uh, Malcolm Sayer, he was the brilliant uh, aerodynamist who uh, we had at Jaguar, he had designed the screen so that we sat well below it. Therefore, we got uh, better airflow over the top of the car. And uh, what happened, when we went out in the first practice, uh, Mike and Ivor, Rolt and Hamilton, they thought that the screen was too high, they couldn't see over the top. Therefore, they requested that the screen should be cut. And uh, this came to a very big debate and I said to Bevan, who was my co-driver, we would not cut the screen, uh, otherwise we would lose speed. And the others didn't believe us, and so uh, Sayer had explained for every inch you cut off the screen that uh, we would probably lose two to three miles an hour. However, they had their way, they cut both their screens on the other two cars. We left ours to the correct height, so we sat behind it. And this was the difference of the uh, Mulsanne speed. Mike, I think, got 187. And as I say, mine was 192.4. And that was because we left the screen as standard, as designed. Um, moving on to Goodwood. I know you competed in the nine-hour race at Goodwood in 1955 as well, in another D-type. Um, what are your memories of that race, and how does Goodwood today, the revival meeting, compare with the Goodwood of yesteryear? Well, the Goodwood of yesteryear, I mean, uh, they used to have the uh, Easter meeting, and then they used to have this nine-hour race, Goodwood race. It's really a bit of a long spell to be driving at uh, Goodwood on that circuit for nine hours. Although you're not driving the full nine hours, there's two of you. It's still, you're doing two hour stints, and uh, it is very, very uh, uh, hard work because there's no respite. As again with Le Mans, with the Mulsan, although you're driving down there quickly, uh, you are able to sort of relax just that bit and prepare for the rest of the circuit. Goodwood, there's no relaxed period. 
all the time, you're just going around corners and you're, you're going in front of the pits so regularly that uh, you, you can't believe that you've just done a lap. And so nine hours was very, very hard work at Google. It's nice to see now, uh, modern times now, that all these years later, Goodwood is now still carrying this uh, beautiful revival of all these beautiful Jaguar cars and all the other makes. And uh, it's become now as uh, one of the top world classic races.